So here we're going to look at roundworms or nematodes, and we see two pictured right here. We're going to get into a little more detail of what defines these as animals. So starting in general, the evolution of the body cavity is one distinguishing factor. Again, I show some human examples here to help reiterate the point, but remember we are talking about nematodes. This body cavity is a key evolutionary step. This body cavity helps improve animal body design in three main areas. Circulation for one, movement for another, and lastly, organ function. How organs are able to be able to perform at a very high efficiency level. And it helps through the aid of a circulatory system, which can improve an animal's overall movement. Now, roundworms in that body cavity, if you've been watching these videos in order, talked about initially, you may remember, acelomates. And they have no body cavity. These are our flatworms. We're progressing up now to our pseudocelomates that have a body cavity located between the mesoderm and the endoderm. And these are our nematodes or nematodes here. We're going to continue uh, with other videos here and other sections, acelomates, and they have a body cavity that develops entirely within the mesoderm. So these are kind of a great picture here with some similar colorations. This allows you to compare and see some similarities as well as some differences between these different animals here. And again, we're talking about pseudocelomates here with our roundworms. So within the pseudocelomate phylum, we have nematodes or nematodes. They're the largest kind of species, number of species within this phylum. So these are unsegmented, as we can see here, cylindrical worms covered by a flexible cuticle that is molted as they grow. They, they're animals that molt. Now they're very small, they can live in uh, different environments, particularly soil environments or within plants also. Uh, and you might be more familiar with these than you actually realize. Sadly, if you're familiar with them, you might be familiar with them in a bad way. Some nematodes are parasitic in humans, cats, dogs, and animals. And this is why they're of economic importance. Heartworm in dogs is, is caused by nematodes. And this is what you can see here. These are all those kind of parasites living inside there. Um, trichinosis here is an infection caused by nematodes and is transmitted to humans who eat undercooked pork. And this is an example of one kind of living inside um, this muscle tissue here. Again, you might have a dog that might give him some pills to forego heartworm, and you want to avoid this at all costs here, and this is caused by parasitic nematodes. Now, I don't want you to think all of these are bad, because there are some beneficial ones. So there's actually beneficial versions. They can be used to specifically attack pests, such as grubs that live in soil, that can be difficult to control otherwise. So if you ever know anyone's trying to, you know, have a healthy lawn and get rid of grubs, they may apply pesticides, so those pesticides can kill other insects, can reduce the earthworm population, and just be negative for the environment. Well, adding beneficial nematodes here, and there's different strains, uh, what they do is they seek out and they feed on, they parasitize these grubs, and they multiply with inside the grub. And when the population gets really high, not only does the grub die, but we see all of these other individuals released. And they can go out and find other grubs, and they can kind of do the same thing. And you could take a grass region that would look like this, very chopped up, because these grubs are eating all the roots and destroying the plants. So ideally, a nice green fairway or lawn here, purely through the product of these nematodes going through and finding and eating out all of the grubs so that you don't have any issues with them mass multiplying. Actually, the beneficial nematodes go through and through the process of degrading the grub and eating the inside can spread through and help correct a problem without any pesticides needed.